Okay, I now have my basic shape and what I want to do next is put my name on the top. I also now need to start thinking about this as something I want to print out on a 3D printer. If I want to print something on a 3D printer, often having a flat surface it can build up from is the best way to do it. So I'm going to make this, when I'm actually printing out, this section here is actually going to be the bottom and I actually want that to be flat. So I don't want my name sticking out of there, that would be more difficult to print because the, it then have to balance the rest of the structure on those stuck out letters. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a little dip in there and put the letters inside the dip. Let's start by going to the camera view um, and I want to view that from the top. Beg your pardon, top. So I'm looking down on the top of it. And I want to draw another little box inside here. And to do that, I am going to click on the what light up and tell me. It's actually the offset tool. Go near the line and start dragging that and it starts drawing a line that's the same shape but inside the other one. And I don't want this to be too thick, so I'm going to put that as one millimeter. I'm going to change the view again. Notice I keep changing the view to see what's going on. Change that to isometric. I can see now that I've drawn that line there and I'm now going to use the push-pull tool to take that down. I'm going to take that down by one millimeter. Okay, so I've now got a one millimeter depression in the top. Okay. And what I want to do with that now is I want to put in into that space some 3D lettering. And 3D lettering is here. So I click on it and it asks me a couple of questions. The first question it asks me is what I want to write on there. Well, in my case, I want to write Mr. Dunn. And then it asks me which font I want to use. Um, you don't really want a very, very narrow font. You want quite a, ni a nice sort of quite thick font. So something like that, even that is a little bit narrow. Um, so balloonist would be quite good. That's a nice thick font. See the difference of cities? So basic sans heavy is, is quite nice as well. And just basically picking out one that is a nice thick font that you like the look of. So Shanson Heavy, I quite like that. That's a nice sort of thick font. And I'm going to use that one. The height of the letters is, well, the space is 10 millimetres. I've taken 2 millimetres off either side. So the space inside here I'm left with is 8. Well, I don't want the letters going right the way to the edge. So I think my letters can be 7 millimetres high. And the extruded is how high I want them to be. Well, I've made a one millimeter deep depression, little hole into it. So I want my letters to be one millimeter high as well. Now, with all of these things, basically you've got to try it. It might be that the Shanson Heavy doesn't look right. It might be because I've got it in bold. It becomes too big. The height might be too big. So just I basically put it in and try. Now, obviously you can see now at this angle, this is quite tricky to do because I'm not really looking at it easily. So again I'm going to go to camera and standard views and I'm going to go to looking at the top and I can see that my lettering is too long. Okay, So the font that I've chosen the height is about right but actually the size of it is a bit too long. So if I click and put it in place and have a quick move around it I can say it's, it's gone in the right place, but it's sticking out at the bottom. Well, I've got two options. I could go back to the 3D text, so I could, I could go edit, undo 3D text, go back to 3D text, and maybe make the height 5. Notice I have to put my name in again. And click on place, and this time if anything, it's a little bit on the short side. So I could put that there. So that's one way I could do it. And again, if I go to camera and standard views and look at it from the top, it's a bit easier to place in the right place. But actually, that, that, that's a bit short. It's, a bit, it's the right length, but it, it's not the right height. 
If I go edit, undo a couple of times, sorry, I'm going to go back to my 3D text. I'm going to go back to a size of 7 and put Mr. Dunn in and click place and I want it to go around about there. That looks around about nice. But I can see that it's too long. Here, there is now a resize tool. And I can grab that one at the end and very, very carefully, see it's very tricky to do, I can grab that in at the end. And eventually, in the end, hopefully, I can get that around about the right size. I see what I've done here is I've actually got it now, if I rotate it, it's gone up far, far too high. It's also gone in too far. If that happens, edit, undo it. It may be the different camera angles. So if I look at it from the front and I click on, just take it down a little bit that way and click on resize, I might be able to do that a bit better there. Okay. So it is playing with it a bit. And I want to check that that's level and not sticking out and above. And that's now a little bit high. So you play around with it and it is quite tricky getting the text the right size. It's quite tricky getting the text in the right place and exactly how you want it to be. But eventually, what you want to be able to do is look down and see that your name is nicely in place on here. And have a good look and a good check around. And if it is wrong, if it is a little bit too high like that, then you do need to go back to it. It needs to line up. Otherwise, it doesn't, it's not that it'll look bad, it's just that it won't 3D print very well. And of course, as I say, you can always go edit, undo 3D text. And sometimes it is easier just to pick a different font that's a bit narrower. So basic sounds heavy. Mr. Dunn at seven, click on place. And sorry, camera standard views from the top, make it a bit easier. And that actually does fit in. I actually thought that one did fit in. So again, you can see how fiddly this is. It is something you do have to have a few goes at. So I'm going to take that down to 6.5, make it a little bit smaller that way. I've done that completely wrong. And in the end, I'll end up with something which is what I want to have. 